morally The spirit of God is here Angels everywhere The Holy Ghost is me In the name of Jesus of Nazareth I command you to arise Be healed in your physical body I command you to arise Arise from that state of failure In the name of Jesus of Nazareth Be healed in your business Be healed in your business I speak into your life Be healed in your physical body Be healed in your business Be healed in your marriage I release the anointing that brings you up. I release the unction of God that brings you up. Rise up from that situation. Rise up and take your new position. Rise up and take your new level. Rise up and let your glory be restored back to you. Hello, viewers. I'm Reverend Dr. John Arisajikbe, the president of the Hour of Release Television. I welcome you as you join other viewers worldwide to be blessed through the emancipating and eternal word of God in this online television station. The vision of this television was born through many years of relentless prayers, burden, passion for the lost. I see this time as our season of making valuable contributions to reach the lost and to expand the kingdom of God on earth. Welcome viewers. I am your host, Reverend Dr. John Arisachi, Ibe of the Hour of Release Television. Today we will be talking on a very important issue that affects our lives as a people, as individuals and as a family. But before we go into today's message, I will want us to say a word of prayer. Father, I want to thank you for a time like this. I want to thank you for the privilege of bringing your message to your people. I ask that you circumcise their heart. I ask that you circumcise their ears. I ask that, oh God, you grant us understanding that a few moments we are going to spend together will go a long way to transform our lives and bring the needed changes in the life of my listeners to the glory of your own name. Holy Spirit, take over. In Jesus' name, Amen. Right now, I want you to join me as we turn to the scriptures, Romans chapter number 6, verse 23. And we'll also be reading Matthew chapter 1, verse 21. Romans chapter 6, verse 23. The Bible says, For the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Let's read again Matthew chapter 1 verse number 21. And she shall bring forth a son and you shall call his name Jesus for he shall save his people from their sins. I want to share with you on the topic salvation from sin. Salvation from sin. In other words, there is provision for you to be saved. God has made provision for you to be saved from sin. And I want you to know that provision is available for you today. Romans chapter 6, verse 23 says that all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. That's Romans chapter 3, verse 23. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. All have sinned. Everyone living in the face of this earth. The Bible has declared you to be a sinner whether you are educated whether you are uneducated whether you are rich whether you are poor 
the Bible said that all have sinned, all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Romans chapter 3 verse 23. Then when you look at Romans chapter 6 verse number 23, the Bible said for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus. Friends, listen to me. You were not created for sin. Nobody was created for sin. But how do we become sinners? The Bible said we became sinners as a result of the sin of Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve sinned against God. And after the day they sinned against God, the floodgate of sin was opened to the entire human race. The floodgate of sin, everyone that came into the world became a sinner. We became sinners by death. We became sinners by inheritance. And that is why Romans chapter 3 verse 23 said that all have sinned. Everyone is included. No one is excluded. Whether you are rich, whether you are poor, whether you are learned, whatever may be the level of life or your category of life, the Bible said all have sinned. It's unfortunate today that so many people want to justify themselves that they are not sinners. You hear them say, I have never sinned because I have never killed anybody. I have never stolen anybody's property. I have never wronged my neighbor. I have never done one evil or the other. But listen to me, the Bible gave a blanket judgment and said all have sinned. Whether you are in America, any part of the world that you are, as long as you are a human being born into this world, the Bible has declared you to be a sinner. And uh, not only that we are declared to be sinners, the Bible said that the wages of sin is death. Let me say this to you that one of the things that have happened to human race that have devastated mankind is the issue of sin. Sin is cancerous. Sin is dangerous. Sin is a sinker. Sin is a stinker. And as long as you are living in sin, you are separated from God. You are cut off from God. You have no relationship with God. You have nothing to do with God. You are on your own. But as I said before, you were not created for sin. I was not created for sin. In fact, we were not created to die. God never created the human race to die. We are to live eternal life. We are to live for God. But when sin came into our life, death followed. Other consequences of sin followed. Like sickness, war, crisis, affliction, death, all manner of evil and wickedness became the byproduct of sin. However, God has never left man to remain in sin. God has never left man to become a victim of sin. That is why if you look at the scripture we read in Romans chapter 6 verse 23, the Bible said that the wages of sin is not only death, but also the gift of God is eternal life through Christ.
Christ Jesus. So there is gift of God. There is a gift that God has given. And this gift that God has given is to bring us out of sin. And this gift that God has given is no other gift but the Son Jesus. In John chapter 3, verse 16, the Bible tells us that for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son. John chapter 3, verse 16. For God so loved the world, the love of God prompted him. The love of God moved him. The love of God motivated him to give us his son Jesus. We were not supposed to be given Jesus because we are sinners. We are enemies of God. We are supposed to be sent to hell. We are supposed to be condemned. But the love of God will not let us go. The love of God will not allow us to go to hell. The love of God will not allow us to remain victims and captives of sin. That is why he sent his only begotten son. The most precious gift he had, he gave it in the person of his son Jesus who came into the world and then died a shameful death died like a criminal died a disgraceful death died the death that you and myself ought to have died he took our place the wages of sin that we were supposed to be given Jesus accepted those wages on our behalf for the Bible said the wages of sin is death spiritual death physical death business death death of marriage death in every area but Jesus decided to pay that price he decided to take our body he decided to die our death the bible said for the gift of god is eternal life when we were in sin we were cut off from eternal life we were separated from eternal life jesus came to reconcile us with god dear listeners I don't know the condition you are as you listen to me today. But let me say to you, you have the opportunity to be saved today. That's what I'm talking about, salvation from sin. That you can be saved from sin. No matter the gravity of your sin. No matter the atrocities you have committed. No matter the degree of your sin, you can still be saved. You can still be delivered from that bondage of sin, from that yoke of sin, from that shackle of sin. The love of God who can break you away and deliver you from that chain and then set you free and then you become a free man. Let me say this to you. What it requires is for you to accept Jesus Christ and then humble yourself before God. When you are very, very obstinate and you are not ready to accept the message of salvation, let me say this to you. You will be doing more harm to yourself than you think. That is why the opportunity you have now is the opportunity for salvation. You can be saved from that sin. You can be delivered from that sin. Do not allow the devil to tell you that you cannot be saved. I give you 100% assurance that if you can make up your mind today, you will experience freedom. You will experience salvation. 
Salvation from all satanic bondages. Salvation from all evil influences over your life. Salvation in your family. Salvation over your life. Friends, you have the opportunity to do it now. I want to encourage you to do it. You will never, never regret giving your life to Jesus. I'm not talking about church. I'm not talking about religion. I'm talking about the reality of life. I'm talking about relationship between you and God. And I think you have to do it now. Because when you delay and procrastinate, your tomorrow is never, never guaranteed. If anyone will hear my voice and open his heart, Jesus said, I will come in and sup with him. He also with me. So Jesus is knocking at the door of your heart. As you listen to this message, I want to pray with you. If you want to give your love to Jesus, wherever you are, whether in your room, whether in your parlor, where anywhere, can you bow down your head as I pray with you? Can you say this prayer after me? Lord Jesus, I recognize that I'm a sinner. I humble myself before you. I acknowledge my sin. Today, Cancel my name in the book of death. Write my name in the book of life. Give me the power to serve you even as I receive you into my heart as my personal Lord and Savior. Thank you for saving me and let your name alone be glorified in Jesus' name. Amen. Dear listeners, if you have prayed this prayer, from your heart I want to assure you that you are now a child of God and that God has written your name in the book of life and that your name has been cancelled in the book of death and so I want to encourage you locate any Assemblies of God church anywhere around you look for Assemblies of God church and worship with any of the Assemblies of God churches around you and then Every Sunday we have a Bible study. We have a Sunday school. Tuesday we have a Bible study. Wednesday we have a midweek service. And also want to thank you for giving me the time to speak with you in the hour of release television. I remain your host, Reverend Dr. John Arisajikbe. I hope to meet you again in our next episode. God bless you. Bless you really good. Thank you and bye. The TV crew members and myself are eternally grateful to God for creating such a platform for us to partner with other believers worldwide in saving the lost through the social media via the online TV. I request that you join us to grow than to watch us grow. I also request that you support us as God lays it in your heart and to keep this platform alive and to strengthen other believers in faith. We hope to be on air every Sunday and you can connect to our other programs during the week. Don't forget to subscribe to our TV channel on YouTube and like our Facebook page and follow us on Instagram at The Hour of Release, Twitter at The Hour of Release TV. For prayer and counseling, you can call on the number on your screen you can also copy them from our other social media platforms such as the WhatsApp, Instagram, Twitter, and send us your email. God bless you.